Proton Pack is not a toy. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Proton Pack is not a toy. My name is Matt, and today I'm wearing one of my Ghostbusters flight suits, and the reason for that is, last week I did a Q&A video, and while I was uploading that video, I had another question come in from one of my viewers that I wanted to answer for you guys today. And the question was from Matt Heyer, and he asked if I ever finished up my Magnolia uniform. The answer to that is no, not until this weekend. I was waiting on one little detail to have it finished up. If you missed the first few videos that I did when I first received this flight suit, it's from Magnolia Clothiers, and to date, it's probably the most accurate flight suit that's been mass produced to match what was screen used in Ghostbusters. So it's got the right kind of ripstop fabric. Um, the zippers and pulls and the pocket placement and designs of all that kind of stuff is as close to screen accurate that has ever really been uh, put out there and mass produced. And so they're kind of expensive. It's about $200, which is also about what you would pay for a off the shelf, off the rack, brand new Nomex flight suit. So it's right in that range for a brand new uh, real deal flight suit. But this one, the advantage is it's got all the kind of things that you would want to match the screen used one. And it also includes a name patch and the No Ghost logo, or it's supposed to. Mine did not come with the Moogly logo over here. So I had to get with customer service and have them send out the patch to me a few weeks later. It wasn't a big deal. Um, I didn't have anything where I really needed to be or any reason to really wear it out uh, anytime soon. And so I just you know waited on it and it showed up. It's great. But then I kind of sat on it for a while. I considered maybe getting one of the Todd Cook Designs patches. I uh, missed out on the first wave when those first went for sale, the version three ones, they were really high, highly accurate to uh, the first movie patches. And uh, just decided to go ahead and go with this one that I had in hand. It's, you know, it's not the perfect idealized logo. It does have a little bit of wonkiness to it. And one of the advantages of not having it already on there was I was able to kind of place it as accurately as I could when it was time to put it on there. Um, I was able to get with the owner of the Stance flight suit from the first movie, Zed Richards, on the Spingler's 1984 Workbench uh, Facebook page. And he took some reference pictures and showed that the there's a seam right here on the top of the shoulder, about down to the tippy top of Moogly's head is two and three quarter inches. And then from his fingers, on this side over here, there's a seam right about there is about an inch and a half. So I was able to really line it up where I wanted it to be. And I can't guarantee that Magnolia Clothiers, um, the people working for them, would have taken that kind of detail to put it in the right spot. So I was happy we were able to get that done like that. And while I'm talking about it, I want to take the opportunity to thank my seamstress for all of my patches. Uh, except for this one right here, she's put every patch on all of my flight suits that I've ever had, and that's my mom. And she has been uh, the biggest supporter of me, not only on this channel, but in life in general. Uh, I know she watches all of my videos and she talks to me about them. And uh, anytime I need like a patch or anything done like that, uh, she wears out her thumbs and her sewing machine to make sure that they get put on right where I want them to be and um, make, you know, make sure that my eye for detail is uh, satisfied. So um, she's always been my biggest fan, my biggest supporter. So thank you, mom, for uh, not only the patches and, and the support here for the channel, but for everything. So it's good to have a good mom in your corner. Never be embarrassed if you have one. Uh, go ahead and uh, give her a hug and, and tell her you use you appreciate her when you have the opportunity if you do have a good mom in your corner like I do. So thanks again, mom. Um, big reason I wanted to have this done uh, now and have this patch put on here now. Uh, this Friday, I'm doing a kind of a show and tell deal for all of my 
Ghostbusters props and um, that kind of stuff, some of the toys um, for my fourth graders class. And so that should be fun. Uh, hopefully that goes well and uh, nothing gets broken or anything of that nature. But um, hoping to wow some of the, the nine and 10 year olds there in his class. Um, apart from the patch, the only other thing that I wanted to note was on the flight suit, it does come with the hose connector right here. It is more of the beige khaki color. And I've had the same hose and hose connector on, it started off on my true spec suit and then I moved it over to my Carter Industries Nomex suit. And it's had the same hose in it. It's going as far back as I've been doing the whole uniform thing. Um, and the hose is a little bit too big to fit into the connector. So what I ended up doing if I can get it out, you can see kind of the size of the hole in there. Um, all I did was just cut a little slit right there in the hose and then kind of wrapped it a little bit, a little bit smaller. And then I was able to fit it in there. It took a little doing, so I won't do it here on camera. But once I get it in there, it stays. So that's the only other adjustment I really had to make for this flight suit. But overall, I'm happy with it. I know there are people that have ordered these from Magnolia Clothiers and sent in custom measurements and uh, haven't been completely satisfied or uh, some people have been disappointed with what the results have been. So um, mine has been okay. I did give them uh, an actual off the uh, shelf measurement. Mine was a 44L, which is the same that I used from my Carter Industries uniform. And I'm not sure that they use those kind of um, sizes anymore. I think everything is pretty much uh, custom and you send in your measurements and they send it to you. So there has been varying levels of satisfaction and success in that. So just have that in mind when you are ordering your flight suit. Um, mine does fit a little more loosely around the tummy than the 44L uh, Carter Industries suit that I have, which is good because I'm getting a little pudgy around the waist right now. So it gives me a little bit more wiggle room. So uh, overall, I've been happy with my flight suit. We'll see how it goes uh, when I do go to the event this week. Um, the cool thing is that it kind of does change color in the light because the Ghostbusters uniforms are notorious for being either gray or khaki or in between. And this one, depending on what light you're in, does kind of uh, have a chameleon effect to it. So um, that's about all I have for, for this video. I appreciate you guys for sticking around and watching. And I'll have some more Ghostbusters content coming up pretty shortly. And I appreciate you guys. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.